Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. Nothing really special to cover today. Our custom deck is Molotov. Diving back into Adelphophage's Venture Brothers decks. She is not, unfortunately, the first Sentinels deck to feature the word cock in the name, which I think is a shame, but oh well. She is Brock Sampson's nemesis, because that's how love interests work. Fighting her are Stuntman, the brand new Renegade Gyrosaur, which is the penultimate cauldron variant that I have to debut on this show. The Green Death 2084, which is the Lady Green Death in the future, and a Renegade Chrono Ranger. He's from the Tactics timeline, not the Prime War timeline, but before it gets rebooted, and he was created by Mastilitane. We'll be playing in a modified Final Wasteland. So, Molotov says, at the start of the game, put a random contract from the villain deck into play, remove all other contracts from the game, and shuffle the villain deck, place two evasion tokens on this card. So we got these cool evasion tokens here. Our contract is secure the package. This card cannot be reduced below zero HP. Oh, that's good to know. When this card enters play, set it to zero HP. At the end of the villain turn, this card regains four HP. If it's ever at full HP, Molotov escapes and we lose. So we want to keep it at two or fewer. Contracts are indestructible. When Molotov would be destroyed, she flips instead. Note she's only got 24 HP. End of the villain turn, she hits the two highest HP hero targets for two melee damage each. The first time each turn, she destroys an environment card and play the top card of the environment deck. Evasion. This is a separate gameplay section. When Molotov would be dealt damage, reduce the damage by two for each evasion token on this card. So right now she's got four damage reduction. Then remove an evasion token from this card. If you cannot, discard the top card of the villain deck and place evasion tokens on this card equal to the number in the bottom right corner. So her cards look kind of like Night Mists. I will see this as the game begins. When Molotov is dealt irreducible damage, which can definitely happen in this game, she becomes immune to damage until the end of the turn. So on average, we're going to be hitting her probably once a round. But that said, we've got her contract to deal with, so we'll at least have something to hit pretty much the whole time. She begins with the Scorpion SMG, a weapon. She hits the two highest for two each, that is Gyrosaur and Chrono Ranger. This heals four, and the Scorpion says reduce damage dealt to this card by two for each evasion token on Molotov, so, since she's holding it. End of the villain turn, this card deals each non-villain target two projectile damage. Alright, Stuntman's gonna be our clutch character. I'll start with Steal the Scene. Start of a hero turn other than yours, you may destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, Stuntman deals a target two projectile damage, and you may use of power. He will use Tyrone Quayab, hit her for one, she becomes immune to damage until the end of the turn, draw a card, and remove an evasion token. So now she and the scorpion only have two damage reduction. Gyrosaur plays Hyperspin. When this card is play, you may play a card. And then I'll play on a roll. This will be interesting. Then if you turn, draw a card. Then if you have at least two crash cards in your hand, she deals each non-hero target one melee damage, and this card is destroyed. Increase damage dealt by Gyrosaur to non-hero targets by one, and when you, if you draw a crash card, play it instead, then destroy all copies of Hyperspin. Her power is being sneaky, because Gyrosaur is the best. Discard a card. If it was a crash card, she regains two HP. Otherwise, she deals a target two melee damage, draw a card. So this is going to be interesting. I've got one crash and one non-crash. I think I'll discard the non-crash card so she can hit that for two. And now we don't have to worry about it for a turn. She draws a card. It was a crash card, so it goes into play. Wrecking Ball. In this card is played, Gyrosaur deals each target one melee damage. So all the heroes take one, all the villains take two. That can't go below zero. She hits Molotov, who reduces it by two, and then hits the Scorpion. Increased damage dealt to environment targets by one. Then Hyperspin is destroyed. So that was the draw from her power. Now she draws a card. At the end of her turn, she she draws a card. I've got three crash cards in hand, so she deals each non-hero target one melee damage and destroys this card. Let's see, we'll hit that first, hit Molotov, and then we discard the top card of the deck, and she gets one evasion token. Okay, and destroy on a roll. <laughs> that was a fairly exciting turn. Green Death's gonna start with the Emerald Deathmobile, because that's a good idea. Her power is Matter Converter. Draw a card. The Green Death deals a target one toxic damage. You may discard two cards. If you discard two cards, use this power again now. So yeah, she'll go ahead and draw a card. She'll deal Molotov 1, which is blocked, but gets rid of the evasion token. And then since I've got three copies of the same card, I'm going to discard two poison gas pellets, draw a card, and take out the Scorpion SMG. Draw a card. All right, Chrono Ranger starts with Displaced Armory into Jim's hat, because you gotta have the hat. Shuffle, he'll ping her for one, discard the top card of her deck, she gets two tokens. 
and then just doing my job. And he draws three cards and peels away one of those evasion tokens. His power I'm probably going to skip using is Cash Out. Chrono Ranger deals a target zero projectile damage. If that target is next to a bounty, you can increase the damage by three and destroy the bounty. So that'll be interesting. Draw a card. Maybe I should have gone for one of his weapons. Well, whatever. So, spoilers, the final wasteland has three modded cards and they're all the non-target cards. So we're going to have a couple of rounds of very useful things. Ancient Library. When this card enters play, play the top card of the environment deck. Unforgiving Wasteland. So now this is damage dealt by environment targets is irreducible, and whenever a target would be destroyed by damage dealt by an environment card, remove that target from the game instead. Ancient Library says at the end of the environment turn, one player draws two cards. At the start of the environment turn, if there are any environment targets in play, destroy this card. So we have an onus to keep targets out of play. Gyrosaur will draw two, and we move on. Molotov plays down in flames. Molotov deals the highest HP hero target H melee damage. That is Gyrosaur. She deals each other non-villain target two fire damage. Green Death takes one. End of turn, she hits Stuntman and Chrono Ranger, and the contract heals up. Okay, the usual solution. Stuntman deals target two melee damage. That will be... Now I'm going to hit Molotov with that. Take the token off. I will destroy Unforgiving Wasteland. And then he deals up to three targets, one fire damage each. So that's one to that. One to her. Discard the top card of her deck. She gets three tokens. Ouch. Maybe this round I will actually try and use Steal the Scene since I forgot about it. Tiro and Koilab hit her. She's immune to damage. Removes a token. Draw a card. This is a very shooty team. I'm not sure if I set that up intentionally or not. Gyro Stabilizer. This card is played. Discard to three cards. Draw as many cards you discarded. If you evaluate with the number of crash cards in your hand, you may treat it as being one higher or one lower than it is. She's literally only got crash cards, so she drops one, heals two, and draws two cards. Steal the scene. So, okay, so Stuntman deals a target two projectile damage. I should have done this at the start of Gyrosaur's turn because she wasn't going to deal any damage. All right, he uh, peels off another evasion token, and then he can use a power. He'll use it to hit the package. All right, Green Smoke Cloud. When the Green Death is dealt damage, you may destroy this card to redirect that damage to the non-hero target with the lowest HP. And then we'll go ahead and use the Admiral Deathmobile. This card deals each non-hero target one projectile damage. So peel off a token, ping that down by another one, draw a card. Chrono Ranger plays Terrible Tech Strike. Hit her for two melee damage. Discard the top card of her deck, two tokens, and then ping her for nothing to peel one of them off. Second card play Neurotoxin Dart Thrower. Peel another token off of her reduce her damage for a round. So that sounds like a very good idea. Draw a card. There are no environment targets in place, so the Ancient Library stays in play. Final Wasteland plays the last modified card, Khan's Bunker. This card enters play, play the top card of the environment deck, and it's a skunk ape. Alright, one player draws two cards, it'll be the green death. Each hero target gains a hit point, and same thing, if there are any environment targets in play, this goes away. So we're trying to protect these cards. And then the Skunk Ape hits everybody for one. Green Death soaks it, she gets hit, and discards a card for two evasion tokens. Takes that down to one, and we're done. Okay. Molotov plays Exit Strategy. Molotov deals the second highest HP hero target for three melee damage. That would be... we'll make that the Green Death, so she takes two. Place two evasion tokens on Molotov. That's gonna take some doing to get through to her. All right, end of turn. She hits Gyrosaur for one, and Stuntman for one, and the contract heals four. All right, ooh, Stylish Armor. That's important. He hits her for one irreducible, peeling away a token. She's immune to damage till the end of the turn. Draw a card. Ricochet. Gyrosaur deals a target two melee damage. Gyrosaur deals the second target X melee damage, where X is the amount of damage dealt the first target. So she'll hit this guy for three, because of Wrecking Ball, and then do three damage to the package. Reduce the next damage dealt by non-hero targets damage this way to zero. Eh, that's fine. And I'll discard a card. She'll hit Molotov for a token and draw two. Aha, ammo belt. I never get to play this. Start of your turn, you may put an ammo card from your hand into play. Power is move an ammo card from your trash to your hand. I shall go ahead and use the Admiral Deathmobile again. Token off of Molotov. Take that down to zero and take out the Skunk Ape. Draw a card. Eye on the prize. Ping her for a token. Draw a card. Cripes. I don't actually think I want to use the crossbow against her. Or the Masada. Well, Masada's not useful right now. I'll go ahead and play Displaced Armory and get Danny Boy. See, look at that. This this villain is changing up how I go around. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to get the Temporal Grenade, because I might need that later. Get that. Actually ping her for one. Discard the top card of her deck. Three tokens. Second card play. Just doing my job. But he got stuff they can discard for me. And he'll ping another token off of her. Okay, actually, I take it back. The bow would let me peel extra tokens off of her. But yeah, one more token off. Keep her damage reduced. Draw a card. I think maybe I'll try using his base power in a minute. Okay, these do not get destroyed. But now we're in 
cryptid territory. Somebody draw two cards, Gyrosaur. Everybody heal one. And this hits the two lowest for three each. That's the contract, which essentially takes nothing, and the Emerald Deathmobile, which is destroyed. When this card is destroyed, it deals a target two melee and two fire damage. So it'll hit her for a token and two fire damage and discard the top card of her deck, one token. That's fine, we can get that back. All right, Molotov, the Black Hearts minion. In the villain turn, this deals the second highest HP hero target, two melee and two projectile damage. Ouch. Okay, she hits the two highest for one each. That's Gyrosaur and Stuntman who soaks it. This heals four, and the Black Hearts are gonna hit Stuntman, I think. He doesn't mind being shot at by some femme fatales. One melee and one projectile. Acceptable. Time for dramatic cliffhanger. Here's hoping I can remember to do it. He will ping Molotov for one, taking that token away. She becomes immune to damage draw a card. I think it's time for Sphere of Devastation. This card will crash cards in your hand. Gyrosaur deals a target X plus 4 melee damage or X is 4 times the number of cards discarded this way. So that's 16 damage. Oh yeah, and that's the bad ending. So, number one, she murders Molotov. Uh, and she flips. Two, now it's personal. When flip, restore Molotov to 24 and set the number of evasion tokens on her to two. Remove any contacts in play from the game and shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. Okay. Secure the package is no longer an issue. Now at the end of the villain turn, she plays the top card of her deck. Evasion still works the same way. That being said, she dealt more than 10 damage this way, so destroy all environment cards. Sad face. That was helpful. Each other player discards a card. Good job, Gyrosaur. All right, she discards a card. It is not a crash card, so she'll hit the black cards for two and draw two cards. Okay, high speed chase. Search deck of trash for the Death Deathmobile and put it into play. Destroy an environment card. Uh, there's nothing to destroy, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have any firearms to play with the ammo belt. Sad face. Emerald Deathmobile. Hit her for an evasion token. Hit the black hearts for one. Draw a card. Okay, I'm going to play the compounded bow, and then we will Ranger's Mark, put that on her, and ping her for an evasion token. Then we'll use his base power. Finally! So he deals a target zero projectile damage. It's next to a bounty, so I can increase the damage by three and destroy the bounty. So he'll hit her for three, destroying that, and she doesn't have a minus one anymore. Then we reveal the top card of her deck, and she gets, oof, she gets three tokens. Hey, it was kind of worth it draw a card. All right, final wasteland, and let's not forget that we've got a dramatic cliffhanger in play. Rat Beast. End of the environment turn. Dramatic cliffhanger. Destroy this card. He draws a card. He plays a card. Ooh, let's play No Time to Bleed. That's always good. And he uses a power hill to rear and take out the black hearts for three damage. And then the Rat Beast. Oh, it goes after the non-environment target with the second highest. That's Molotov. She loses a token. Thanks. All right. She plays a katana, reduce damage dealt to this card by two for each evasion token on Molotov, and she's going to deal some extra damage. End of turn, she plays a Mauser pistol. Dang. And the villain turns like the highest HP hero target. This card deals that target three melee damage two times. That's Gyrosaur. She takes six. And the villain turns card deals the lowest HP hero target four projectile damage. Oh dear. That's the Emerald Deathmobile. <laughs> there it goes again. I will go ahead and hit Molotov for two and two, removing both of her tokens. Never going to get to use the ammo belt. Okay, on the upside, we can kill her stuff now. Time for a Lembuscade. And he will to... I think we should take out the pistol first. It's blowing up my cars. Draw a card. Huh, Gyrosaur's got nothing to play. She's going to skip and draw two. Read the terrain is just not that great. Terror of the Underworld. Increased damage dealt by the green death to villain targets by one. She's only got her base power, but she'll go ahead and hit that for two after drawing a card. And yeah, I'll discard two, draw a card, and take out the Mauser pistol and draw a card. Okay, Chrono Ranger's got a whole lot of nothing going on. Just doing my job. Draws two cards, ping the katana for one. Oh, hey, that'll be kind of worth it. Yeah, all right, Terrible Tech Strike. He hits Molotov for two. Discard the top card of her deck. Three tokens, go figure. Oh, shoot, except that reduces damage to the Katana. Ah, I played myself. Well, he'll ping her and get rid of one of those tokens. And then he'll use his bow and get rid of the other two. Cripes, draw a card. Final Wasteland. Mongolian Deathworm, oh boy. That's a fun time. The Rat Beast hits... Okay, Chrono Ranger is the highest. Molotov is the second highest again. She takes three melee damage and gets... Two tokens. Molotov. Escape Artist. When this card is played, Molotov regains 3 HP. End of the villain turn, place an evasion token on Molotov. Okay, that needs to go. Good thing I have a grenade. End of turn, she plays a card. Cold Hearted Killer. Damage dealt by Molotov and weapons is irreducible. When this card is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. Well. Okay, number one. 
Lembuscod. I will use a power and hit her for three irreducible damage, removing a token, making her immune to damage till the end of the turn. This hits the highest for three and three. That is Chrono Ranger. She gets an evasion token. That needs to go. And that's it. We might, yeah, we might leave that in play because, youch. Dramatic cliffhanger again. Yeah, no, I'm going to tear her and hit her for one draw a card. Indiscriminate pass. If you have at least one crash card in your hand, Gyrosaur deals another hero target two melee damage. Well, I don't. Gyrosaur deals a non-hero target four melee damage. Let's hit her for two and remove that last token. I guess I'll discard that. Not a crash card, so she'll hit the katana for two and draw and draw. Well, there we go. All right, can't do things with the things. Reload and keep going. I'm gonna search my deck for an equipment card. How about a custom steric? Shuffle my deck, play a card, play the custom steric, and she heals two. And then we'll go ahead and use the custom steric, deal a target two projectile damage, taking out the katana. I can use a power, we'll use her base power, draw a card, hit Molotov for two, and discard the top card of her deck. That's one token. Good. Draw a card. All right, Chrono Ranger, everybody's counting on you. Just doing my job. And he draws two cards. Oh, finally! Frig pings her for a token. Play number two, Sudden Contract. I'm gonna grab by any means, put that on her, ping her for two, discard the top card of her deck. One token, perfect. Power, Temporal Grenade, token off, hit both of these guys for two, for all the good it'll do, and drop Escape Artist because that's a nasty card, and draw. All right, Mongolian Death Worm is going after Stuntman and the green death. This is going to be interesting. So three melee and three toxic. So he takes two and hits back for two. And then he takes two more, hits back for two more, but not enough to do that. And then the worm hits the green death and we green smoke cloud, redirect it to the non-hero target with the lowest HP and the worm played itself. Okay, that was neat. Abominable snowman. The rat beast hits second highest that is gyrosaur for three. Oh, and uh dramatic cliffhanger draw a card uh let's play training montage draw a card himself for one draw two more then i'll play this plunk a vu and then use a power yeah i'll just go ahead and hit her for four discard the top card of her deck two tokens okay got around the rooms all right molotov's turn black hearts again end of turn she plays the top card of her deck sadistic strike molotov deals the hero with the highest hp four melee damage plunk a vu destroy this card to prevent that damage, and I can use a power. I'll hit her for four irreducible damage. Removing a token, she's immune to damage till the end of the turn. Destroy two ongoing equipment cards in that hero's play area. Okay, so that is unfortunately the green death. We'll destroy the ammo belt, because that's not useful. Might as well destroy the steric. And then the black hearts hit the second highest for two and two. That's chrono range. All right, we've got this in the bag. Coot coot just to finish in style. He hits her for one, two, three damage, and we win. Short game, but Molotov is a surprisingly brutal fight. You really get the sense of being up close and personal and having to really tussle with her. The whole evasion mechanic, you know, makes her very slippery despite the low HP. It takes a while to take her down. That Gyrosaur power, pretty great. That Green Death power, pretty great. And that Chrono Ranger power would have been great if I had had anything like a decent draw during the entire freaking game. Modded Final Wasteland, don't mind it at all. In fact, it's actually a lot more thematic than the original one, so it works pretty well. And that's your lot. Molotov and Green Death, if I'm not mistaken, and the modded Final Wasteland can all be found on Adelphi Phage's archives. Theoretically, the Renegade Chrono Ranger can be found in Mistilitane's Monstrous Menagerie. So thanks for watching. As always, Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels, the Cauldron DLC, Adelphi Phage's archives, and Mistilitane's Monstrous Menagerie are not licensed great the game's products. Please support the official release and flip.